Hi, hi everyone! My name is Mary Bao, and today we're gonna to talk about the Archat Creative Tutorial 8 The Dynamic Bones. How does this work? How you can make Alouette the pet follow like smooth in the game? So that's why I'm gonna to teach you how to do it. So you see, this avatar is Nimerin, that's the one I always use in the game. You can see I put it Dynamic Bones. And you're asking me why did I put like collider? Why did I put exclusion? Why I put it like this way? I love our questions. Let's get started with the avatar. So you see, my this is how it looks like. When you move the avatar, the dress will move with the dynamic bones. This looks like very smooth and easy to use. You can use the same number that I put it for my avatar, so it looks like that. It's very simple to make it. But where we can get dynamic bone script? You can find it on the asset store or you can download down below my description the dynamic bones. I will also show you down below my description to the dragon, so you can have a smooth dragon moving around you. Woohoo! But I will remove a lot of content on it because you know it's just for tutorial. So what is the this collider? You see, I put like full collider for my hands, for my legs, for my head, and you see this yellow circle. What is the this yellow circle? I pull it on my amateur this left hand. You see you can increase the radius, the hedge, and also the directions. What if you increase it? So that's the minimum you can pull it because I always wanted to have a smooth version for my avatar. But what happens if you increase? You can see the dress is go like that. Because collisions. It should work too if I pull it on my head avatar. That's how the dynamic bone collider work. Oh, and I forgot to mention, when you're on the play mode, it will reset back to the, your avatar. So you don't need to delete it and put it back to normal. Because I already put it in the right uh, area for my stuff. So when I press it, it go back to my hands. Woo! Magic! So, damping. Damping is more like make it heavier, your avatar. I don't know how to say that, but it doesn't move like very smooth. And you doesn't like it. You know already elasticity. When you try to tear an elastic in real life, it does like this way, and it's like making like you know being back to normal. But it do a lot of strange thing if you add it too much. Stiffness, stiffness is like the orientation that is preserved. When you move it, it's like uh, the bone will move like this, and it's more like you know smooth. Inner. That's the position of the character will be in your by the physics simulations, which means my leg. For example, when I try to crouch, my cloak can go through my legs, and you can see my avatar is broken. But I wanted to have that. So you can also add other stuff like frictions. When it slow down, when collide. Fur with the collide and a lot of stuff. You can read it how they said, so you might know how it work. Now you understand how I pull it dynamic bones on the avatar and colliders. You need to put in the right uh, meshes on your avatar to make it work. That I wanted to have, you know, have the same result. You can also put exclusion. Exclusion, you need to be careful. 
because it excludes the bone from the physics simulation. Which means the inner, you need to change it. Because that one is very important to make it with exclusions. You can even put like a freeze axis into X, into Y, and into Z. You see, this is how it works. You see on the at the top. You can also distance disable reference object and distance to object. You don't need to change that. I mean, that's how it works dynamic ones. So when you put it, you collider on your avatar like this for me and pulling that, pulling the radius, pulling the edge, and there we go. You might have the same result when you touch it. I will create a new one for the tutorial. So when you create, you should name it as um, anything you wanted. I call it like that. Copy paste. Put in another one. One. Bones. Another one. Start. Another one. I would call it bones for physics. And then you can make it like this way now. You can move a bit up. Copy paste. Go to the here, for example. Put it one at the bottom. Put it one at the top. Put it one at the bottom. And you can do the same like always. Copy, do it the same, and now you should see it's nothing happened. It's normal because when you add dynamic bones, it will freeze your position, so you cannot change it anymore. You can delete your dynamic bones and do it as you want it, but if you add it and you do that, it doesn't work. So when you add dynamic bones from the bones. You see there's nothing, right? Because we didn't add a root. This root will become the um wait, I'm sorry. The bones itself. When you put it, there we go. There is a string here. And you might know when you press on play. It should move like that. And it's moved like very too fast because we need to put it like uh, the right number for that. So, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0, and 0 0.1. And look what happened next. Because of the damping, it will make like this way. That's the damping does. Just like a spring. Now you learn it how to make dynamic bones for your pets following you like very smooth. Alright, I hope this video helped you a lot for making a pet follower and add it to your avatar too. See you next time in the next video. Bada boom.